Happy uh, Corona Day. Got some uh, updated news here. I've got some advice and some things I've learned over the last week or two. Uh, first off, I'd like to thank uh, the kids from the University of Texas who went down to Mexico and imported about 70 more cases of this stuff up to Austin because we were really beginning to feel left out. And, you know, it's going to probably trickle up Interstate 35 as they make a mad dash for Scott and White hoping there's a cure, which there's not. And this, um, what Fauci's doing, uh, one of our members of, of the butcher shop today uh, made a, a comment. What he's doing, and I've got all the respect in the world for him, but he's he's coming out there on the podium and uh, he's sh uh, shouting the alarm. And he's uh, letting you know how serious this thing is if you catch it and all that kind of stuff. Wash your hands, wash your butt, wash your eyes, all this kind of stuff. But internally, uh, internally, he's letting the people around him know it's really a second runner to uh, the regular flu, which has a, a death count in the thousands in the United States since the, the first. But the reason he's doing that, if he was to come out on those steps or on the, uh, near the White House and say, now, this thing is, isn't near as prolific as the flu is right now. Then people would relax and they would say, oh, well, you know, that's, that's true. That's true. And we need to go back to the store and buy some more beer, you know. And then if this little bugger gets a hold, it'll be bad, all right? Now, things I've learned, interesting things. I've learned, for instance, um, that I love uh, turkey bites, okay? Also, uh, one of my sponsors, I uh, love this stuff, too. But uh, the other thing is um, shopping. Uh, we've got deliveries here from HEB, uh, front door deliveries, which is excellent in Texas. Excellent. Uh, most everything I've got all over the place now is from Amazon or HEB. And I mean, <clears throat> you can get a stick of butter from HEB. They'll bring it right to your door and they'll drop it. <clears throat> Excuse me. And you never have to see them. All right. Um, now, but online, you, you know about Amazon.com, but... Uh, a friend of mine's got another another uh, system up that shops for you and helps you. It's shop to find dot com. That's S H O P T O F I N D dot com. Excuse me. Shop to find dot com. Give that a try. See how it works out for you. Uh, internet shopping. This is one of the things I was trying to uh, allude to uh, yesterday and the day before. Uh, History has changed. You're going to find that there's a whole culture of people when this mess is over that just traditionally won't go to the store unless they absolutely have to. They'll pay the 5 or $10 to have it come to their house or they'll have it sent to Amazon or something like that. We will be social distancing for the rest of our generation. You'll get used to it. You'll be the ones that are nervous in crowds. Somebody sneezes, uh, you know, you'll run, Okay. Mass will become prevalent. It's something you just put on automatically, even after it's over. And it will be over. It will be over. I put up, um, I'm going to put all the links up here. But I put up um, a little article this morning and everything. And I'm not a doctor, and don't quote me on this. I might be dead wrong. But every year we have a flu outbreak. This is not a flu. This is a respiratory distress disorder. Okay. But it's still a virus. And uh, boys and girls, it gets hotter than chicken grease in Texas, okay? People don't live down here, much less viruses half the time. So we're, we're not counting on it, you know, but if we all of a sudden take a downturn along about June or later part of May, um, just remember you heard it here first, okay? And it will be back. It will be back. What we got to do is once we get through this first wave of this, this stuff, we need to... Uh, what happens when you sit alone too much. You know, a wave of this nonsense, uh, we have to take that next nine or ten months before it, it comes around again and and, and prepare. Just be, be prepared. Have extra ma mass. Load your freezer up with meat. You don't need uh, five pounds of coffee. You need ten pounds of coffee. And just always be ready for when you say, we got to start bumping elbows again. No problem. Got everything I need. Don't have to go anywhere but the mailbox. It ain't nothing coming anyway. All right? Um, I don't have anything to say about the economy. Um, when stockbrokers are allowed to go back to the floor, we hope for the best, you know? Hope for the best. Now, the things that you learn, like right before the crackdown, my wife, Pamela, 
told me to go down to Home Depot and buy a, a boatload of toilet paper. Now, I wasn't panicked. I didn't care. Okay, I had about three, four rolls in the bathroom, and, and it usually would last me a while. It's just me here. And I, I, I thought, you know, if I don't have toilet paper, I'll just jump off the toilet and jump in the shower. You know, kind of like a redneck bidet, you know. But I got a trunk load of toilet paper. But I learned something. I bought it at Home Depot. Now, what is Home Depot? It's a, a place you go to get stuff to repair your home. So you buy their toilet paper, you don't get Charmin double layer with little quilts so your butt don't itch. You don't get, you get this stuff that you find in a porta potty. And I quickly discovered, I've been using this for, let's see, this is my 15th day of quarantine. And I got it four days before that. So that means about 20 days. And I haven't dented the first roll because it's what? Single ply. You get twice as much toilet paper. And then you do with puppy, puppy, bear wipes his butt with it. Twice as much. And believe me, it actually wipes your butt a little bit better. A little like sandpaper, but, you know, it, it works. It works, you know. Uh, washing our hands. I've washed my hands so many times, it's a miracle I have fingernails. Okay? I haven't been exposed to a human. Oh, God. It's the 15th day. Yeah. 15th day. I've been exposed to my dog. You know, I, and that's nothing. I got my dog about 50 pounds of dog food because I ordered some, and then my wife up in Brigham ordered some, so I got a double load of dog food. Dog be dancing. Dog be dancing, okay? Uh, you got to stay hydrated, and I'm not just joking about the whiskey. I've, I've seen that I drink a little more water than I used to. A little more water. And you get stiff. I don't care how old or young you are. If you're doing nothing but sitting on the couch watching the news reports, when you get up to go get a cup of coffee, you know this. Damn, I'm stiff. That's because you're not moving around. Even back in the old days, before the before the war, you know, I'd get up and run over to H-E-B. Well, that was my outing for the day. I'd go over there and pick up whatever I needed, be about an hour out there, say hi to everybody and all that kind of stuff, come back, and I'd be limbered up for the day. I'm learning now that I'm stiffened up for the day, so I have to get up intentionally and walk around the house, stuff like that. Um, I don't know how... Um, we're gonna all. We're not ever gonna get back to normal. I mean, just put it like that. You'll always have just like a hoarder from the era of the depression. Will always be hoarding. Would always be hoarding green beans. My dad did that. Uh, we're gonna be the ones that are always afraid of crowds. We're gonna be the ones that go through the the drive through at Whataburger, no matter what. Okay, we just won't go in and sit down. We'll, we'll not sit down at their table. That's me. I'll never go back in Walmart again. You know, I'll never go back in Walmart again. That's just that's not gonna happen. You know. I have my own personal reasons for that. Uh, H-E-B, I'll probably, if I have to go into a store, I'll go into H-E-B. Two reasons. Number one, very little, if any, stuff is there from China. If you're eating their cow meat, that cow probably grew up 100 miles away. All right. Number two, they don't attack your guns. I don't carry my gun inside H-E-B, but if I was licensed to carry, they wouldn't say a word about it. Number three, I strongly suspect because some of those old men who seem to be shopping forever uh, and not, don't have a lot in their basket are actually packing, and they're actually uh, employees of HEB, just in case some guy decides he wants to shoot up everybody because he can't get a date, okay? I love HEB, okay? Anyway, uh, as I learn more about this, I don't get cabin fever. I spent too much time in the desert. People say, oh, God, how... How are you doing all alone? I ain't alone. See the house right through the window right here. They ain't being alone. You know, when you look out your window of your travel trailer and see a Gila monster, that's alone. That's alone. Okay? So, anyway, that's it for today. I'm going to put a bunch of links up here you can follow, including Shop to Find, today's article, and uh, a link to tonight's radio show on APRI. It'll be a so 8 o'clock Texas time, and it's going to be an open mic. And we're going to discuss, I don't know, everything from the, the Beatles to the virus. I don't care, I go to school. It's all right.